especially in post-production, you're gonna end up working with a lot of different takes, especially when it comes to dialogue. You're gonna be facing a situation where you have to blend in dialogues that have been recorded on set, known as production dialogues, and dialogues that have been recorded in a completely different environment, known as ADR, Automatic Dialogue Replacement. Now, these two dialogues are gonna have a completely different timbre. Our goal, our goal here is to use isotope ambience match and EQ match in order to make sure, in order to recreate a sensation as if these two dialogues have been recorded in the exact same time and location. Let's see how it works. All right, over here I have my two examples. I'm gonna highlight this, make it bigger, actually a little too big. All right, there it is. So we have a production dialogue and a dialogue recorded in a studio, in an ADR stage. I'm gonna let you hear the two dialogues. You got a design for me? And the ADR version. Firm could be on the line here. So as you can hear already, the two timbres of this dialogues are completely different. Um, the ADR one, of course, given the fact that it's been recorded with different microphones and uh, in a space that is better as a recording studio, has a little bit more bottom end, so it's fuller. Whereas the production dialogue, given the fact that it's been recorded with a shotgun microphone, so it's slightly away from the actual actor, has less bottom end. Other than the fact that the production dialogue has a lot of room tone or background noise, whether in contrary, the ADR is very sterile. Let's see how we can use Isotope RX in order to, again, create an illusion as if this dialogue was recorded in the exact same location. So what I'll do now is the first thing I wanna try to make the ADR dialogue sounds a little bit closer to the production dialogue. So what I'll do first is to send my production dialogue, but instead of repairing it, I will send it as a reference. Okay. So right now, Isotope is telling me that it's taking this file and that it's only gonna use this as a reference, to give me a reference, more or less. Then I'm gonna create on my ADR, and instead my ADR is gonna be sent to repair. So over here we have our reference file. You got a design for me? And our ADR. Firm could be on the line here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to select my dialogue here. And then I'm going to use a module called EQ Match. What this will do is we'll try to learn the profile of the, the timbre of this file. And then what I'll do with this, instead of render it, I will render it on the actual ADR file. So right now I have learned the EQ profile of the production dialogue and I'm gonna render this on top of my ADR session dialogue. Firm could be on the line here. I'm going to give a second pass of render. Firm could be on the line here. All right, I'm gonna send this back into Pro Tools. So our first playlist is already set. I'm gonna render this. And we have the first dialogue. You got a design for me? And rendered one. Firm could be on the line here. This started to sound really similar. Now, another thing I want to do is to create um, a room tone tracks. Now, Isotope RX has a phenomenal feature called Ambience Match, which can be accessed within your AudioSuite plugins again. So I'm gonna go AudioSuite, Isotope, Ambience Match. There it is. So what I'll do is to actually click on the entire file and what I'll tell the module to do is to analyze only the ambience of this track. So I'm gonna output the ambience only. I will learn the ambience, and there it is. So if I play what the, this module is extracting, it should be only the background noise. And the great thing about this is that right now we can create a room tone that would match exactly the length that we needed. So we don't have any more to you know, figuring out the, the best spot to grab this room tone, copy, paste, reverse, fade in, fade out, copy, paste, and reverse. Isotope will do it for us. So what I'll do here is to create a duplicate, which I'm gonna call it uh, room tone. 
Okay. I will highlight my selection, semicolon to go down, and then I will render this. I'm going to increase the volume a little bit. So the second track over here shall contain only room tone. Which in fact it does. The last thing I want to do is to, again, go back to my previous playlist. And since the initial production dialog has some background. You got a design for me? What I'll do is I will, first of all, create a third playlist named 01. Send my production dialog into Isotope to repair. And what I'll do is I'm going to use my denoise module to learn oops, sorry, to learn the profile of our background. And then what I'll do is attenuate in this. You got a design for me? All right. I will send this back into Pro Tools. Render this file here. I'm going to raise the volume a little bit more. So what I'll do is select this, trim it, fade it in, fade this out. I'll do the exact same thing here. Fade in and fade out. And right now I have two takes that sounds like if they've been recorded on set. You got a design for me? Firm could be on the line here. Of course, with um, gain processor, especially equalizers, you can fine tuning even more to the um, to the correct timbre for these two takes. But what is important is that right now we have a room tone. Firm, you got a design for me? Firm could be on the line here. That will give us a little bit more continuity within these two dialogues. Now what I can do here is to lower the dialogue, the room tone a little bit more. And if you want, you can start writing an automation to make things sound a little bit smoother. You got a design for me? Firm could be on the line here. And there you have it. So again, between ambience match and EQ match, you can almost recreate the sensation as dialogues have been recorded in the exact same place and location. This will conclude my series on Isotope RX and audio restoration. I hope this was helpful. As everything, experimentation is key. So I hope you're going to get the best out of this tutorial and that you will go ahead and practice. Isotope RX is an incredible tool that will allow us to do incredible things. So make the best out of it. Again, my name is Matteo Marciano. Thanks for watching. Ciao.